Yes, Nick, let's make it tonight. Yeah, I'm back tonight. Tonight I'm back with PC Linux OS 2012, the KDE full version, as you do. Okay, it's released every quarter, but please remember it's actually a rolling release, so you don't actually have to do it unless like, you think your system thinks, ah, oh, blimey, just do it from scratch and just grab the latest shot and off you go and get the latest all stuff. But in theory, if you're doing a rolling release, it should be hunky dory. All depends on how you use your machine. I mean, if you're a really high power user and you, it's doing lots and lots of stuff, maybe you have to reinstall every other couple of months. I don't know. I don't know. Well, at least a year, I suppose, if you're really, really working it badly. I mean, I'll go through hard drives every 18 months, personally. Okay? So that's just my story. But anyway, back to PC Linux OS. What's the first th three things would make you think of PC Linux OS? Come on, give it to me. Well, firstly, it's for PCs. Lovely. Secondly, it's for Linux. Thirdly, it's an OS and it's KDE. Firstly, you'll get the XFCE and all the other stuff coming out around about a month's time. They should all go trickle down to you. So we're just going to have a quick look at this one for you and let you know how it goes. It installed lovely, no problems for me whatsoever. It always installs, no problem for me. I don't know why. Maybe it's just me. Maybe I have a little halo around my head. I don't think so, really. Anyway, okay. We have Home and Trash as your main icons on the desktop with this version, okay? You have a PC menu, so if you click on PC, you get the main menu. And then you can see what stuff I've been playing with. So I've got Gimpy here, I've got a Firefox going down, I've got the documentation portal, I have the system monitor, which I'm going to open for you just now, so you can see what's going down. Now, as you can see, the bottom line is, it's not actually using anything. Now, bearing in mind it's using KDE, right? If you're going to use a KDE distro, a single core is not going to really do it for you, really. You really do need dual core, and not the silly dual cores and the new stuff's coming out with. Okay? You need a proper dual core processor to run proper KDE stuff. We're using about 230 megs of me stuff. That's okay, I can do with that. And now let me swap. Okay, I can do with that. Super duper. I like it, even better. Right, what do you get with PC Linux OS, the full KDE? Remember, there is a mini me one, which just gives you the basic KDE and you have to load what you want yourself. Okay, I'm going to give you a quick look of some of the stuff you get with it. Okay, right, I'm not even going to go to more applications. Yeah, of course we will. Configuration stuff, you get databases, which is LibreOffice, by the way. You get the full LibreOffice suite here, and a condo for your console. Education, you only get K-Hangman and Marble. And some of these will be replicated in other menus, by the way, before we even start. Under emulators, you can get Oracle VirtualBox. Yeah, you can get it if you so wish to do so. This system is fully updated, by the way. So it's all installed and updated, so there will be some of the stuff. K my money for doing stuff like that. Monitoring, yeah. NetApplet and system monitors there as well. Sleeper duper printing. HP device manager, because I've got HP printer. So that's good for me. And the terminals. We get console root, console terminal, and X term. Nice. Archiving. Right. Oh, bless it. it is really, really quick as well, by the way. You get ARC for doing your basic archiving, K3B for burning your disk, which is probably the best burning program out there for any Linux system, basically. I know. K9 copy. If you've got DVDs that you actually own, you can copy them. Okay, and we'll do no more on that one. Documentation, it's all there, KDE for help and stuff. Editors, only K write, but you can get whatever you want to, so it doesn't really matter. File tools, bleach bit, yes, yeah, all their conquerors, all their midnight co midnight commander. I do love. It. You know what? I'm going to open it. Midnight commander, love it. Do you remember this? Midnight commander. Ah, oh, back in time. Thank you very much. I've just had to do it. Sorry. Right under games, you get a load of games. You get breakout. You get five in a row and stuff like that. They're all basic games and nothing special, but they're all here for you to use. The downloads are around about uh, just under 2 meg, I think, about 1.8 meg. I can't actually remember off the top of my head because I downloaded it two days ago. I've just had lots of, lots of stuff to do being a pool person that I am at the moment. Pool, you're saying? Pool, yeah. Yes, I'm a lifeguard -y person at the local school pool for the summer holidays because we open up to the, uh, the public, basically. So I'm there. Big guy, saving your life. I love it. Okay. Anyway, and the graphics. Bird, 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 bird. Get hugging as well. Inkscape is there, a standard and lovely K snapshot for capturing your staff. Libra, of course. Is. So, as I said to you, it's actually repeated a lot of the stuff. Panorama, I actually I do like that. I've actually started playing with that recently. Under internet, get Chook, 
for your microblogging client. Dropbox is standard, FileZilla, Firefox, love it. Should we open up and see what goes down? Come on, come on. Try it that way. The trouble is, it's too quick for my mouse or I'm getting old, one or the other. And this is where we go to, this is the main page. And as you can see, PC Linux, SKD and KD Mini is now released. Lovely jubbly. You just go down here and download it and have a play. See what you think. It's nice. I like it. Yeah, I do. No, I really do like it. I've been doing PC Linux OS for bloody years now. I must be giving you getting another. I think I need to retire. Not. Okay. And Office, as I said to you before, you get a full LibreOffice suite. So we go up into LibreOffice Writer, make sure it all works hunky dory, which it should do in the end. Well, that took a bit of a time, didn't it? Mind you, it isn't installed system, by the way. I need some two cores. I have a bit of drinkage, hang on. Mmm. Sort of peachy tonight. Mmm. Peachy happily. Yeah. That's actually taking longer than I thought it was going to do. The last time I've done this, it was a bit quicker. Maybe I'll need to put some new paste on my heatsink. Hmm, yes, I think that could be an idea there. Okay, there we go. Ooh, that's nice, isn't it? Nice and clear. I really like that. Really nice and clear. We'll get to help, just to make sure what version we're using. 3604, nice current one. Or your current bun. I like current buns. Yeah. Do you? I do. Anyway, okay. You also get the software center, which is not a software center, okay? It's synaptic, yes, which is what I like. So I put my password. If that's the right one, that is. I'm sure it is. Ah, here we go. Look, hunkily of the dory. I like it. It does its stuff. We have to wait a couple of seconds for it to actually load everything. So that's nice. I don't know. I know. Remember, I'm recording at the same time. Okay. I'm not yet using the 8 core processor, or so called 8 core processor, if you know what I'm saying. Well, I'm going to search for a programmer, we're going to install one for you, and it's going to be, of course, Abby Word. Nice small one, that's what it says on the tin. We're still using 286 here in the PC Linux OS, but yeah, I can do with that. So I'll mark for installation, yeah, well, with that. So we'll mark it again. I'm going to apply that. I'm going to say yes, we want to download it and install it. That is so quick, look, it's really nice, super. It's now starting to apply the changes. This is how the package manager works in PC Linux OS, by the way. Just so you know what you're getting into, you know what I'm saying? Because it won't always look like any other distro. Every distro has its own little quirks. This is the thing with Linux. I mean, a lot of you will be with Ubuntu or Debian or your game with Arch. If you're new to Linux, you're more than likely to be Ubuntu based, okay? So that's the whole story, really. But there are different things out there if you want to try it. Yeah. So go and wet your taste buds and give it a try. Now we're all installed there. Now I actually can install some extras if I want to, like Python and stuff, but I'm not going to bother doing that. We're going to go back down to there, yeah, we're going to go down to Office. In theory, Happy Word should be there. And there it is, okay? That was reasonably quick. Yeah, I can do that one. Yeah. And of course, we've got to help and about Abbey Word. Yes, it's 286. It does what it says on the tin. Yeah, it works. It works all the time. Whatever you say and you slag it off and everything, Abbey Word does what it says on the tin. Okay. I'm getting bored now. So under sound, we get Clementine as one of your music players. That's, that's fine by me. I like Clementine. That's fine. Under video, I've installed. Oh, God, see how quick it is again. I've installed OpenShot. OpenShot looks fine. That's really nice. You get Camerica for taking photos with your webcam. Yeah, it's just a webcam thing. Imagination, you all know what it is. VLC, as you all know what it is. Nice. Well, on your bottom KDE bar here, we have Config Your Desktop. So, we'll get a look at there. Most of you should know what it looks like. Really? It's all there for you to play with. Yeah, display monitor, information sources, input devices, desktop shirts, which is NeoPuck, I think. Well, it would be when it's KDE. And here we have. Da, 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 da. I've got play passwords. And here we have the PC Linux OS Control Center. KDE, OpenSUSE, Styly, Nupsy. It's basic KDE. You can do what you want here. So you've got your system here. Anything you want to do, network sharing, you can all do from here. It's really, really easy to use. So if you want to make the jump into this sort of system, it's really easy. 
Right, next one is Synaptic. We've already been there, so I don't really need to go there. And there's your file system and my two work windows. Well, on the whole, I've had a really nice time with this. Really, really nice time. The installation took around about, shall I say, about 15 minutes in total. On an old laptop, it took 45 minutes. But it was an old laptop running KDE. I'm going to have to live with that, aren't I? But it's KDE, okay. That's why I like the XFCE versions, because they're a bit quicker. But on the whole, it's stable, it's nice, it does what it says on the tin. Yeah, PC Linux OS KDE. Nicey, nicey. 91%. Sneaky Linux out. I see you later. Bye bye.